TJ the Wheel Deal coming at you. I wanted to show you guys a chart that I don't think a lot of people are familiar with. And this is a chart explaining stock market math. So what does it take to recover your losses? So if you're down 1%, it only takes 1% to recover. If you're down 5%, it only takes 5% to recover. But as your losses get bigger, the gains also have to become bigger, guys. And that's why the stock market is such a hard game. Like buy, hold, and hope is a very, very tough game. That's why people that dollar cost average or also have uh, the guts, the intestinal, the intestinal fortitude to double down and average down, they end up faring a lot better in the long term. And it's just because of math, guys. That's why I'm not very emotional about the market. I just play the math. If you're down 10%, you need 11% to get back to even. If you're down 20%, you need 25% to get back to even. 30%, you need a 43% recovery. If your stock's down 40%, you need a 67% recovery. If your stock's down is 50%, you need a 100% recovery, guys. That's a big ask. That's hard to do. If your stock's down 60%, you need a 150% recovery. If you're down 70%, you need a 233% recovery. And if you're down 80%, like a lot of stocks are. I mean, shoot, Facebook and Tesla, or Facebook was down, what, 70% at one point last year. If you're down 80% on a stock, you need a 400% recovery. I mean, I'm facing the situation where I'm down 70% on IDEX, so I need a 233% recovery. And that's because I've already averaged down. You know, I've averaged down over and over and over again so that I could not be in a position to where I need a 400 or an 800 or a 900% recovery. Because I think that at 90%, I think the math checks out to about a 900% recovery. It's a 9X. That's just not very likely to happen. So guys, the moral of the story is if you have a stock that goes against you, in my opinion, you have two legitimate options. One is you can cut your losses because sometimes your first loss, yeah, it cuts deep, but it's not the deepest. You can just be done. Or you can, quote unquote, it's a cardinal sin for some, but you can chase the falling knife or you can kind of wait it out a little bit. You chase falling knife from the standpoint that you can just like dollar cost average by increments, certain sets of time, doesn't matter when, right? Certain amount of money on a certain day. That's dollar cost averaging. Or you can do what I do. You do a combination of both. You do dollar cost averaging, but you also average down. But you have to solidify your investment thesis. It takes a lot of research, everything else, guys. So anyway, I just wanted to share this with you guys, a real quick video on this Super Bowl Sunday. Because it's really, really important that you guys understand the backstory of my mindset and why I do the things that I do with these stocks, guys. Because waiting for a stock to recover 233 or 400%, that's just not a real good use of your time or your money, in my opinion. You need at some point, you either cut your losses or you need to be willing and able to double down, guys. You need courage. You need conviction and you need capital to be able to average down on some of these losers. Or you're better off just cutting your ties and moving the money somewhere else because there's also opportunity costs that you need to consider. Anyway, this isn't financial advice. This is just my strategy that I utilize. But I came across this chart on Google and I wanted to share it with you guys because it's really, really important that you understand stock market math because it's not as cut and dry as oh it goes down 50 percent it just needs to come back to 50 percent then the way that i was taught this exercise is while i was working for a vc firm and it was literally they took a dollar and then they put out four quarters they put out 10 dimes 20 nickels and 100 pennies 
and you just start started doing a bunch of math with it and it was like holy cow because if they take 50 cents away from your dollar and now you're left with 50 cents from the dollar how much does it take for you to double 50 cents into a dollar because 50 cents would only put you right back up to 75 percent so you lose 50 and you gain 50 we used to have a net 25 percent loss and that's how stock market math was taught to me now they have simple charts like this one, little graphs like this one, and it's a lot more obvious, but I challenge you guys, get a dollar and get 10, 10 uh, dimes, 20 nickels, 100 pennies, and start playing that little game of math, and it's amazing to, it's just amazing to be able to see that visual, guys. So anyway, this is TJ, the Wheel Joe, signing off as always. I mean, your sky stay blue and your stock's green. Peace out. God bless you guys.